When people get together, they want to dance, but it just won't happen if you don't have the right music. That's where the art of the DJ enters the picture. And Karishma met up with Amit Shah to find out how it's done. To his fans, his DJ Amit. And this 20-something Durbanite is on a platter-powered mission to get crowds grooving across the country. You don't have to strain your ears too much to hear the name Amit Shah in and around Durban. A strong interest in music from a young age, a solid set of skills and determination turn that passion into a successful career. Of course, there's more to the DJ's art than just putting together a playlist. And Amit is as comfortable in the studio as he is behind the decks. Amit! Hey, Hi, Krishna, how, how are you? you? I'm very well, thanks. Good, welcome to Mela. Thank you. Well, this sounds amazing. What is it? This is a special production made for this interview. That's and, incredible. Uh, yeah. uh, tell us a bit more about it. I have a seat. We actually try to brainstorm some ideas to make this special for the show and um, it's, it's crazy. I mean, how did music come into your life? I've always been a music lover from a young age. My dad was a DJ back in the 70s and 80s. He had his own nightclub. So I grew up with so many records and turntables and gear around my disposal. What were you like as a child? Were you always running around banging pots and pans together trying to create some sort of music? That was me. I was always the hyperactive, loud, noisy kid. Just doing a lot of crazy nonsense. How would you describe your style of music? I like to call my style bangers and mash. That's actually a crazy <laughs> name. My love for music is the same as it is for food. Like tasty and you know, all the ingredients together to give you something Fresh. How has it been received? Audiences love the way I play and I'm really blessed to do what I do and you know it's such a good feeling when a crowd connects with you. So, you know you get the feeling that you're doing something right and um, that's what that's why I do what I do. Do you spend a lot of time creating your own tracks? I like to tailor make all the stuff in my sets just to be unique and different from other DJs. Okay let me show you how it's done. So basically these are layers of different sounds and instruments. So the first is like, I've got the drums and percussion here, as you can hear. So, Which is amazing, yeah. I love it. These are your melodic aspects, your plucks, your melodies, your leads, whatever. All together, that's what it sounds like. Amazing. What have been some of the highlights of your career thus far? I think the biggest one for me was when I entered the Battle of the DJs in 2008 and I won first place in the house category with my fellow partner in crime, Ryan the DJ. And how did that change your life? It opened up a lot of doors for me in terms of gigs and opportunities, which uh, definitely blew me up in a big way. I mean, what do you like to do to unwind? I'm all about living in the moment and taking in nature, the beauty of life. Well then, I think you're going to love what we have planned for you next. Let's go. Amit puts his heart into turning up the heat as a DJ, but he'd mentioned that he had an affinity with the natural world, especially cold-blooded creatures. Karishma decided that she'd forget her own fear of snakes and share Amit's fascination with reptiles, at least for a while. Distracted enough, Amit? Yeah, definitely. It's <laughs> a breath of fresh air to me. Look at that. It's incredible. I mean, what type of music do you like listening to? I'm actually a fan of all kinds of music, so anything from like soul, disco, jazz, house, EDM. Who inspires you? I'm actually inspired by a lot of things, places, people, nature. But I've got to say my biggest inspiration is my dad. He was a soldier and, you know, I live by his principles and values. Wow. Reptiles don't perceive sound as we do, but they can sense airborne vibrations. This was also an opportunity to make friends with a pair of black-throated monitor lizards. Here we go. Aww. Come on, Murdoch, I think you need to eat the egg now. There we go. Well done. That was incredible. Yeah, did you enjoy that? I did. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So I definitely still want to be active in the music and entertainment industry, uh, travel the world. Where are you most comfortable? I'm actually in my elements, behind my decks, in front of a crowd and rocking it. And that's my happy place. Eh? And I'm actually heading off to a gig shortly. Would you like to come through? I would absolutely love that. Let's go. A quick wardrobe change and Karishma was ready to slay the lounge lizards. I've had a chance to freshen up and now I'm ready to see DJ Amit in his element. Amit! Hey! hey. How are you doing? 
good. Now, this all looks very interesting, but very complicated. Just a little. And I remember you promising me that you're going to teach me how to scratch. Yeah. Tell me again, how does this work? Uh, basically, you're just going to be taking this sample. Okay. And just going back and forth. This is a baby scratch. Okay. And just go with the rhythm and go to the beat. So, I'll just play the track. That's how you do it. Yeah. Not bad at all for a beginner. <laughs> Amit, thank you so much for an amazing day. I had such a good time. Me too. The party's about to start, so yes. I'm going to leave you to it. It was lovely meeting you. you. Too.